Hi everybody, this is Project 1, Video 2, for the Multi-Project Electronic Learning Board. If you haven't seen Video 1, please watch it, as it's linked below. It goes over this entire circuit, and uh, the calibration of the first amplifier and the 555 tire in monostable mode. I'll go over it for 10 seconds here, but if you want a real explanation, uh, please go back to Video 1. So this is our microphone circuit, this is our AC coupling capacitor, when the microphone senses uh, audio, it, the audio couples across, it's a very, very, very small signal, and we hook that into our amplifier. We adjust our gain using the gain one resistor to turn this tiny signal into a larger signal, and we use that larger signal to activate our 555 timer in monostable mode, or our pulse widthener, to create a single pulse every time we make a loud sound, and we can tune the sensitivity with our amplifier, we can tune our pulse width using the DLY uh, variable resistor, uh, and we use our LED uh, as a visual indicator to, deter to determine how long these pulses are. Again, video one is below. If you haven't seen it, please watch it now. What we're going to do is uh, I've written a very, very, very simple code uh, that uh, basically de detects the audio coming from the sensor board. I hook it up to my Arduino, and I make a clap, and an alarm goes off. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, and of course, you can tune the sensitivity of your amplifier to be high sensitivity. We've got it tuned to low sensitivity, and right now I've tuned my 555 timer to give us uh, a pulse every time it's activated of about um, one fifth of a second. So I clap on, off, even shorter than that. And we're going to hook this into our Arduino, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Most of our uh, connections have already been made in video one. Please go back and watch it if you have not already. Uh, go over it quickly. We've got our microphone selected on the sensor selection pin block. The AC coupled signal from the microphone connected to the A1 plus pin, the positive input of our first uh, non-inverting amplifier. The A1 out pin, the output of the first non-inverting operational amplifier, connected to the in pin, which acts to activate our 555 timer in monostable mode, our pulse width thinner, and the DLY output is the output of the 555 timer. That is our pulse width, and we've connected that to pin 2 on the Arduino. Now, note at the bottom, on the power supply pin block, we've got one of our ground pins connected all the way over to the ground on the Arduino Uno. That's the most one of the most important things you have to do. The grounds between both have to be connected. We've got the uh, learning board powered on its 9 volt adapter. We've got the Arduino Uno powered by USB. We have to connect the grounds. Okay, so the DLY output is connected to pin 2 on our Arduino Uno. That is an input. When that goes high, it, it, uh, it triggers the beep, beep, beep in the, uh, it triggers the alarm. It triggers the three beeps. And uh, we've got our buzzer the buzzer has three pins. Uh, I've actually not notated them into three different colors. In uh, orange, we've got VCC, 5 volts, power supply. We've got that connected to for the 5 volt line on the multi-sensor electronic learning board. The middle pin is the signal line. It's active low, which means when that line is brought low, 0 volts, the buzzer is activated. And we've got that connected to pin 12 on the Arduino Uno board. Um, the third pin, the pin on the right is labeled GND for ground and we've got that connected to the common ground line shared between the ground on the power supply pin block on the learning board and gr one of the ground pins on the Arduino Uno board. So as soon as you apply the 5 volt line, the VCC, the ground line, the board, the buzzer board is powered and the middle pin is the trigger pin. So when that line is brought low the buzzer goes beep and so if you purchase the learning board, uh, you will receive the manual. The code is very simple. Uh, I will be including other codes written uh, externally, just for reference, so that you can get an idea how to interface with your uh, Arduino. So that's it. Let's go through a demonstration. Please pardon the lighting. Uh, my next video, when I actually do uh, a project, I will have it uh, on my desk where there's better lighting. I do have a new USB, but I don't need uh, a specific 
uh, lighting condition for the specific project. So everything's hooked up as we just previously talked about. Uh, the wires are really long here because I'm using female to female connected to female, uh, male to male so that I can interface between the two boards. But in the Kickstarter, when you purchase, when, when you pledge towards the Kickstarter, if you purchase uh, one of the fully assembled modules, I will be sending along female to female and female to male wires for much easier connection. Anyhow, I clap. Now I've got it sent to very low sensitivity, or otherwise it would be picking up on me talking. I can make it much the sensitivity much uh, higher, but then it would constantly be beeping because it would constantly hear me. You'd want high sensitivity if you were to want the alarm to go off when you enter a room and say open the door. That'd be high sensitivity. Right now, I just want for it to activate when I clap. Now I'll be linking some other code examples in the manual. Uh, code can be found all over the internet just by googling. Uh, I just happened to google a uh, toggle uh, code, a code that toggles. It uses the exact same circuit. Um, the code is not mine, but I will link it to the uh, to the manual. And uh, that will essentially work like this. Now you might be wondering, why does it not pick up on the beeping sound? It's because the sensitivity is set so low that it's only going to pick up on a, a very loud clap. Uh, this is just a fun little toggle. I could hook up my relay attachment to this. I'm not going to for this project, but the relay attachment could, be, could be hooked up the exact same way as the buzzer because the buzzer is active low. So the, the codes are both uh, compatible with the buzzer and the relay attachment. Only with the relay attachment you could control, say, a lamp or an, uh, a low power AC device. So this is a toggle code that I downloaded. Uh, very easy to find a toggle code on Google. And there you go. So that is the end of project one. Project two, will, we will talk about the light sensor and we'll make a couple different tri laser tripwire circuits. So thanks for watching. If you haven't checked out the Kickstarter, that is also linked below. Thanks to everyone who's pledged so far. It's been very, very successful. 13 days left. Thanks again, everybody.